Hey guys, I hope you're having a great night. I have some screenshots for you that I think we all should read together. Um, also, there's some clips I'm going to play. KG's been live, I think, for two days straight without sleep. So I'm only going to show like four from, I think it's, no, it's not even her last live. The last one she did, she was wearing um, a red kiss shirt. She needs to take it off because she's going to drink some van. Anyways, this is how KJ is. I believe, absolutely, same with 100% of other people, believe that she purposely doxed Christy's number. Look at this crap. It's right at the top. Isn't that nice? Yeah. I'll just show her proof. She purposely did that. She is doxing left, right, and center. This is what she does. And then she had the balls to call me out and say I'm doxing her. Girl, you're the one that said you've been doxed so many times that it doesn't matter anymore. And yet you have the balls to come after me. <laughs> you're a joke. Yeah, that was her uh, kiss shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, people give me these for thumbnails and I love it. So if you ever find... <laughs> if you ever see one... <laughs> 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 Okay, if you ever see a face like that, try and give it to me. I go to okay, cool down. Hello, I've been following this whole gypsy case for a while, and I finally have proof that shows Ken is bisexual and has dated men and been with men in the past. Proof that shows he's bisexual, if that is something I can give you. Currently, there's a big push to try to prove that Gypsy Rose's Blanchard's boyfriend, Ken Urker, is gay or bisexual. You want to know she's against this? Any other time, she'd be all for it. But because she doesn't want to lose her audience that is LGBT. Yeah. I understand some people find this fascinating. However, I'm not super interested in the single. So you are interested? You're just not super, super interested? Discussing Ken totally distracts from the issue at hand with Gypsy's ongoing fraud to the public. What fraud? Can somebody please show me the fraud? Because I'm not seeing it. Gypsy wants nothing more for people to talk about anyone other than her. Therefore, I'm going to stay focused on Gypsy and Christie's ongoing problematic and fraudulent scheme regarding her case and her story. I'm not getting it. You're cut off. They no longer speak to you. You're not in contact. And you definitely don't have sources. You are regurgitating what Becca Scoops and Flawless Nina have been saying and fancy. That's who you're copying now. It's pathetic, actually. Even if Ken is bisexual, that wouldn't change much. It means he was last, or he was with men in the past. It doesn't mean that he isn't attracted to women. If he were bisexual, he has the right to make that announcement himself without being outed. I'm going to stick to the story that matters to me, which is the fraud going on related to Gypsy. What about your fraud, KJ? Huh? What about your fraud? The fraud is that you're lying and you are taking money from people's hands right now for your lies and your stalking and doxing and manipulation. You need to look into yourself. Is it possible Rod stayed away because of knowing it was all a con? Maybe he didn't want to get in trouble when it all came out. Meaning that Gypsy wouldn't have unalived her mom and the proper authorities prosecuted both of them. Mo says, I've literally seen screenshots of Christy threatening to kill people. Are you, are you serious? And you went right along with it all. Yes, you did. So you know she was threatening to unalive people. And you stuck right by her and Gypsy's side. That proves you are part and par parcel to this. You're most of the problem, if you ask me. Oh, damn. Mo says, no, Rod is a deadbeat dad that abandoned his daughter for drugs. What the fuck? See what happens when you tell her no? Don't worry, Katie. I'll keep posting far and wide and making videos on all your bullshit. Chips Rose Blanchard spent five years as an adult pretending that she couldn't walk and faked that she had leukemia in order to get free gift cards and trips. Naturally, her pregnancy news has been met with skepticism by the family. According to multiple family sources, many in the family do not believe that she is pregnant. You wouldn't know because none of them want anything to do with you. Every single person has blocked you. They want nothing to do with KJ. Despite her post online and promises of gender reveal, on Saturday, Gypsy is having a girl. Maybe if she's pregnant. Wow. 
So when I say family doesn't believe that she's pregnant, it's literally family. G where's your proof, bitch? Gypsy has a friend that is pregnant. Some of her family allegedly believe that Gypsy faked the positive pregnancy test by using a, a friend's urine. Because Gypsy's getting so many questions at home, she is relentlessly posting online proof that she's pregnant. The video of Gypsy at the doctor's office was being filmed for the show. At that appointment, they attempted an ultrasound but couldn't find anything claiming it was too soon. You're loving this, eh? You are loving this, that you get to harm people. According to the family sources, Gypsy has faked being pregnant at several other times. One, Gypsy claimed she got pregnant in March 2015 with Nicholas Gojon. She then told Nick that she had a miscarriage when her feeding tube button was changed a few months later. She told Nick she was having a baby girl. Two, Gypsy told friends that she was pregnant when she was arrested for the unliving of her mom. Gypsy told friends that she had a miscarriage due to stress of the arrest. Three, Gypsy faked being pregnant in April 2024. Gypsy sent text messages to Brian's and friend, friends and Brian that she was pregnant. Gypsy alleged, then prevented pretended the tests were false positives after she didn't want Ryan to be the father. This pattern of behavior has made some of the family fully believe the pregnancy is fake. Obviously, they cannot say for sure, but Gypsy is a pathological liar with a history of malingering. Katie, you just described yourself. You're that daft that you cannot. You have no self-awareness. You can't even put together that you talk about yourself. The issues with the pregnancy are well known to Rod Christie, according to my sources, which you don't have, liar. Some family members have said that a miscarriage is likely coming soon. I don't believe, I don't believe a word this woman says until I see proof. Honestly, Katie, shut up. Gypsy has made many questions her pregnancy by posting three pictures with fruit in the last week, which are all different sizes. She blamed the error on apps. <laughs> this I am going to talk about. Because if you are actively trying to get a restraining order on somebody, why the fuck are you shouting their name from the rooftops on your Twitter? That's not somebody who's scared for their life. And that's not somebody who should be getting an RO on someone when they are literally taunting the person they are trying to get an RO on. It's fucking sick. They do know people witness Gypsy, A, her mom. You can continue to drink the lies of this family. I have literally seen this family send text messages to people threatening to unalive them for speaking out. Then you should have called the police. But no, instead you sat there for that bag. Nick, because people are scared of Chrissy and Gypsy. Sorry, brain fart. I meant Nick. I've literally seen screenshots of Chrissy threatening to unalive people. Oh, damn. Oh, I have something to show you guys after that. It's pretty neat. Also, my reply has nothing to do with her. I'm just saying it's very obvious what heartbeat is the baby and what isn't on a Doppler. Chill. I'm currently investigating this case. Oh, you're a fucking private investigator slash cop now? If this isn't your interest, you can mute this account or unfollow. I am deep into this research and I won't be stopping. You're a little late. You can tell the difference between your own heart and the baby's with a Doppler. Keep on believing I'm a lingerer that jumped off a ledge and pretended she couldn't move her legs. Wow, Katie. Keep on dragging this out until everyone is sick of hearing about it. How does anything with her affect you at this point? You're giving her more views by doing this because I literally don't even think of her until your posts come across my feed every single day. <laughs> that was a good one. All right. On to these lovely, this lovely video. So cons Conspiracy wants me to unblock her. Okay, I don't know how I do that. How do I unblock someone? She's got them eyebrows on dark today. Holy. Why does she always look so mad? Chill out. Says Bree, thrifty, swifty. I'm looking. I have Mike Stanfield blocked. I don't. You have the Where world is blocked. Conspiracy on here? I don't see her. Because you blocked her. I don't see her on here. I might have to. And I don't have that many blocked accounts. Bull crap. Bull crap. Someone just said you were crazy. 
There are so many like corn accounts here. I might actually have to, oh, remove, I found her. Okay, conspiracy is unblocked. She's unblocked now? Okay. Thank you, Julie. That's not right, Lizzie says. I had her blocked because she had, like, posted, she would contacted Zora and was, like, saying stuff about me to her. And you mean the truth about you to Zora, Little Miss Lithium? Yeah. How much? How long do you think that relationship's going to last? That uh, Zora slash Lithium is twenty one years old. She's just a kid. Katie is going to ruin her life. I've never not had any issue. I've never had issues with her, but it was like you have issues with everybody literally everyone you're the only one on the internet who has an issue with every single person you come across i zora just sent me a message and it says i don't have anything against her i was just very skeptical of her speaking out on the blanchers because she did it once before and then became friends with gypsy um and that's why you blocked her really so i'm not going back at all whatsoever to the blanchards and um never never this lizzie person's on a roll she's like she doesn't believe in god well there we go you're getting blocked lizzie kj can't handle the truth Lizzie, are you, are you the one that's her sis, how can y'all sit here and talk about my cousin? Um, so, she's been in everyone's lives. Gypsy's been revoked. Holy, look at her clickety clack. Lizzie says, no, I haven't. I haven't been in everyone's lives. Where is it out? KJ has to know because she has to prove you guys wrong. How do you know? Look at that shit. She was arrested an hour ago? You're a reporter. You should know that. Really? Lizzie says, nope. You'll send me a copy? I just talked to my uncle, Lizzie says. An attorney on TikTok verified it? And the cousin's telling you no. Look how mad she is. Like, I should have known this first. I am a reporter. <laughs> nope, not true at all, she says. All lies, Lizzie said. Courtroom Courtney. I heard it may be happening in the what? Yeah, people, DOC. Are, saying, people are saying, I'm going to believe her cousin in the chat. So am I. Absolutely. In Missouri? She's an attorney in New York. She just posted a video. She's not arrested. I'm wondering where the proof is, you guys. This person says, people believe everything. Yeah, this dippy idiot believes everything. <laughs> An attorney on TikTok. Tick Gypsy posted a video an hour ago. Lizzie says, no, she's okay. not. She's here with her dad or something like that. Went too quick.
Yeah, she is home with her dad, my uncle. Lazy says I have a question. Posts. Yeah, I don't know. If you want to send me emails, it's at tips at without a crystal ball dot com. You motherfucker. You lied. You said you were not behind that account anymore, that you had closed it down. I knew I was right. Your damn email is the one the threats are coming from, tips at withoutacrystalball.com, that you lied and said that you're not a part of anymore, that you don't have that account anymore. Wow, you're busted. You're fucking busted. You're sick, honestly. So, it is you. <laughs> wow. But... She's not list. There's no warrants out, and your time's coming, and I can't. Wait she's not her. listed as an inmate, so she's not in county jail. She she disgusts me. Like honestly. I'm a friend with Gypsy, and she's not in trouble with her PO. Yeah, okay. Um, Emily Bell, I don't really... Fancy and I... I already sent her a message, and I apologized to her, but... She wants nothing to do with you. You're a joke. I don't want to get into a beef with her, and I don't have an interest in, like... If she doesn't like me, or if she thinks I'm a terrible person, or if I don't see things the same way she does, um, I sent her a private message and I said I was sorry, and that's all I can do. And I don't want to get into a fight with her. <laughs> no, you run away. Fancy, my issues with Fancy have very little to do with the Blanchards. I, I hope people understand that. And I don't really want to talk about it. It's unnecessary. No, I'm glad that she had an out. opportunity to confront Rod and talk with him. I don't know how these people follow her bullshit. I really don't. Gypsy is in here. Of course she is. Where? I don't see her. Gypsy, if you're in here, why are you here? It's a fake account. God, she believes everything. Her new name should be Bitchy Joy. No, that's her. Oh, you muted it? Okay. Thank you, Julie. Yeah, because God forbid she tell the truth on you, right? Gotta have your echo, your echo chamber. Not Regardless, um, does it have a check mark? I don't think so. Julie's one of my mods. Um, okay.
Oh, I just did this one. My bad. I have makeup. Like 14 followers? Yeah. I can't believe she stupidly admitted that she still has that tips at with at a crystal ball account. Like the audacity of her to say that after lying and lying and saying it was hacked, that she's um, taken it down. And I've showed proof that it was still up the whole time and she still fucking lied. How dare you? How dare you? I'm reporting it. This is bullshit. Like, you're not going to get away with constantly taunting me and telling me you know who threatened my son and who threatened me. Like, are you kidding me? I'm a single mom living on a one, living in a bungalow. You know, that's only one floor. It's easy for someone to get in my house. That's creepy as hell. How fucking dare you? I have Gypsy blocked, so I don't, she can't show up in my life. She posted an hour ago. Who's the person that posted about her being revoked? What was her name? Yeah. What was the lady that said again. she was revoked on TikTok? <laughs> She's doing all of that to try to downplay the rumors that she faked a miscarriage. Courtroom Courtney. Where's your fucking proof? Like, I am so sick of her getting away with this shit. Yeah, stay mad. Fucking clown. Gypsy Rose Blanchard has been arrested for violating the terms of her parole. That didn't take long. Apparently, Gypsy Rose and her stepmother had gotten into a fight and... So that is your BFF talking, Lithium. Zora. And she couldn't even tell you that she got arrested, but yet she's going on a TikTok live saying that she's arrested. Nice friend. Police had to be called in violation of her parole. Secondly, and most importantly, Gypsy was in communications with other felons. Girl, this is a strict violation of the terms of your parole. I don't even have to look at your agreement to know that. Who she was in contact and why is a topic for a whole other video at this point. For now, we're just going to cover the legal logistics. My name is Courtney Peterkin and I'm an attorney here in New York. Some of you may already know me based on my legal commentary on other social... So this looks like she's just talking about the rumor, but I don't know if she actually knows that she's been arrested. Because she's not actually providing proof... You never do either. And she's just talking about... It's, Lizzie just said she is not. She is fine. The, the caught stuff. She can't stand that. Oh, Lizzie. Though. You know what, Lizzie? Even if she's your cousin... Can someone block Lizzie? Wow. Thank you. Look at all her gray hair. Like, she literally let her scraggly hair grow, and she has not dyed it since. It's been like that for over yes, a year. Yes, people have said that she posted a video. That video that was published by this attorney doesn't actually... It's misleading. You know all about that, don't you? I don't know why she would say, I don't know why she would say arrested because there's not any proof of that. Here's what she says. Gypsy Rose Blanchard is no exception to both my legal commentary and the law. That's right, Gypsy. Just because you think you're a social media icon and have met with Kim Kardashian doesn't mean that you don't have to follow the terms of your parole. Okay, so what happens now? Typically, a warrant will be issued and that person is going to be arrested for violations of probation or parole. Which has happened here in this case. They will be arraigned in front of a judge just as if they were being charged with a crime. 
At that point, it's going to be up to the judge as These to whether boring. or not that person is remanded, meaning that they must stay in the... Yeah, and she's in a different state. She's in New York. Little Miss, I know everything. Yeah, right. You don't know how to keep your life straight. I just busted your ass. Oh, D said she's a former PO. Well, she can put in a request. I know she's not arrested. <laughs> I, I know she's not arrested. This woman's video doesn't say she was arrested. It. I don't know why she would put out a video that says that, honestly, because jealous you didn't get none of that's first? true. P.O. told her to lay off social media. Mm hmm. Is that why she's busy posting videos proving that she's pregnant? Why do you care? You have nothing to do with this family anymore. They want nothing to do with you. Tara? You're blocked. You're cut Is out. Is that why? If she's really trying to stay off social media, why is her dad going live and fighting for her? Why is Brie going live and fighting for her? Why do you care? She, that was a different PO. Someone just said she's got to get her info from Nina or, and I didn't even see the other name. That's going to piss KJ off. Yeah. Because of the money. Yeah, Rod did say that he's only doing this for the money, right? You only do shit for money. You're sick in the head. That girl pays 13 grand for PR, correct. Basically, yes, yes, she did. Um, Christy doesn't like to do the fighting. She gets other people to do the fighting for her. She uses flying monkeys to fight for her. <laughs> that was you, dumbass. You were a flying monkey and you fell for it for five yeah. years. It looks good on you, dummy. I'm very influenced by chat comments. Well, I'm on a live chat and I'm talking with you guys in the live chat. Do you want me not to talk to you guys in the live chat? Who's, we got to figure this out. Who the hell is Katie trying to copy? She copies everyone. So who, who does this? Who puts their hair up like that? Because she's copying somebody. So all I can tell you is that she was telling people Who's she? on Monday that she was having miscarriage cramps, right? Well, she's her own... Her own insert, her own circle is leaking this. Her own circle is leaking this. People in her circle are leaking this. Yeah, you were in her circle and told the world. So she's that posting. She was having a girl. Luckily, everyone already knew. You're late to the game. A video with the heartbeat and the photo of her and the baby to be like, I didn't do that. I'm pregnant. I didn't have a miscarriage. I never said she had a miscarriage because that's not what they told me. No, you're saying that she's not pregnant. They said she was trying to fake a miscarriage. I never said she had a miscarriage. No, but you're she's, telling I said she was that faking she's not pregnant, a miscarriage. She's lying about being pregnant. Even when you heard the heartbeat. You're sick. And what did her and her mom do for years?
do you think that like anything Gypsy says should be taken seriously? Nothing you say should be taken seriously. All you do is lie and hurt people. You ruin people's she lives. She lies about everything. So do you. No wonder you guys got along. She did hate Dee Dee. Christy did hate Dee Dee. She lies you not. You really hate Dee Dee as well, considering you're the one that posted an actual comment and said that Dee Dee deserved what she got. You're sick. Stop. Non stop. don't if she's pregnant she's pregnant if she's not she's not to me it's like an, it's non-consequential i mean then why are you posting shit and saying that she's lying she's malingering she's not pregnant she's a liar wow i i can tell you factually that when i was associated with them they would constantly be like you can't stress out gypsy or else she'll have look at that rat's nest a miscarriage that's what they would say don't stress out gypsy or she'll have a miscarriage don't say anything that might stress her out or she's going to have a miscarriage um KJ, there's loads, loads of bald spots. <laughs> and gray hair. She hasn't done nothing with that mop. She can't help it. No, she really can't. She needs a cut. Don't stress her out or she might have a miscarriage. Dog. We need to protect the baby. That's what they would say. Yeah, really. When was this, Mo? And Christy and I were in a group chat with her. And I sent her a message about a gross comment she made. And then... Jesus, you're loud. Christy removed her from the chat, the group chat we had, because I was stressing Gypsy out. So I couldn't talk to Gypsy because I was stressing her out by calling her out on her own behavior. Gypsy's baby from stress because yeah, it's a of baby. Gypsy's behavior. It's a baby. You protect babies. It's what the fuck's a freaking mess. Yes, I was friends for a long time. As if you bragged about that. Accountability is stress for Gypsy, 100%. People are like, y'all need to leave her alone and grow that up. Why am I not friends with her now? Because they cut you off. Oh, there's a million reasons. Yeah, you got cut off. That's a why. A million reasons. A million. Do I think that she'll take the baby? Oh, social media. Exactly. No reason to explain. You can't why be not. a good friend with a bad person. Correct. Correct. Thank you for the gifts. I liked that comment. Yeah, because they agreed with you. God forbid if they don't.
Okay. Yeah, you can't help anyone that thinks they're influential. Exactly, Katie. That's you. I'm still waiting for sister wives to announce when they're coming back. I haven't told anyone to pick sides. You can think whatever you want and you can believe whatever you want and you can... That's a bullshit lie right there. Yes, you have. Are you kidding me? Does she not listen to her own voice? I do. It's excruciating. Support whoever you want and you can live however you want. Um... Holy Craig, shut up. I'm just not going to stand by people that are blatantly profiting off of this. You're profiting. And I think it's wrong. But yeah, you can profit. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. The miscarriage wasn't that she had a miscarriage. It's that she was faking a miscarriage. Were you there? Did you see it happen? No. Were you at the doctors? No. She doesn't make 30 grand doing love one live. I can tell you that much. She makes a lot more than you do. That's for damn sure. Sir Morbid said that and was telling us how much she made. And Katie's like, now, now, now. She couldn't fathom it. If a PO enforces her being in cutoff more, she'll cover it by declaring herself bedridden now. Yeah, I think the reason why she's in cutoff so much right now is because she got in trouble for staying over at Ken's too much. Um, you can't get in trouble for staying over at someone's house, KJ. She doesn't make 15000 per live. You wouldn't know that. Your credibility is what made this more credible. Okay. You guys, stop asking if Ryan's infertile. That's rude. I don't know anything about Ryan's fertility, but that's just like such a disgusting... Remember she said that she doesn't know anything about Ryan's fertility, but tomorrow she'll be at set, shouting from the rooftops that she knows everything. This is how she works. Question. Cut off is where they live. I think Becca Scoops did a very good job. Today you do, but yet you were trashing her the other day. I also don't care about Ken and if he had at one point, if he likes men or not likes men. I don't care about that. I don't care if Ken wants to date men and women, frankly. It's then none of my business. Then why are you making re like, posts about it then? Um, I think Ken is in it for money. Just like you. And I think that's all I care about. Like what he's, I think Ken will cheat on her with whoever he cheats on her with. I mean, yeah. Oh my God, these people licking her ass is ridiculous. Do you think you guys will be able to fix your friendship in the future? No. You can't fix a friendship with people that have spent five years deceiving you, gaslighting you, and That's on you. wanting you to be someone to be their bulldog and to fight their fights for them. I Yet she did it willfully and she did it for five years. Was not going to fight their fights for them. I had zero interest in becoming angry at other creators because they had a different opinion than them. Yeah, you I didn't want to get in, in fights with Conspiracy. I didn't want to get in fights with Nina. I didn't want to get in fights with anyone. Right. That's frankly. A lie. You trash talk. You don't even. I get definitely anything. posted some stuff about fancy um, that I shouldn't have. Yeah, and her I'm sorry shot. for that. She was never charged. She she was never convicted of a felony. Oh wow! Well, now not. she's never been conv convicted of a felony. How many years have you been saying this and posting her? Mo this has been going on since 2019, and KJ's known all along that she was lying about fancy. Like I, this is insane. Wow. Not a felon. And they want people to believe that Fancy's a felon, and she's not.
she's mine now. So what is my number one? Hello? And listen, like, I didn't listen to Fancy when Fancy warned me, okay? I take full responsibility for that. But when okay. someone wants to gaslight you and mislead you and misdirect you about things, they'll do the... You did the same thing with Swanson, and you said he manipulated you too. I'm so sick and tired of this. You're so smart. You're a world-renowned journalist. You're a reporter. You're this. You're a consultant. You're that. But yet, you don't know when you're supposedly being manipulated. I call it bullshit. Because you go where the money is. You don't give a fuck about anybody but yourself. Those things. And, yeah. I mean, I think Fancy has a lot of information correct. And what they've done to Fancy is wrong. And if I contributed in, that, in any way to that, I'm very sorry to her for that. Um, I just don't want to get into public fights with people is all I'm saying. Like, I don't want to have a debate with Fancy publicly about it. I don't want to go back and forth and have her yell at me for it. <laughs> um, I don't find those Nobody kind of conversations. Yell Meanwhile, nobody's yelled at her. She thinks someone trying to hold her accountable is yelling. Like, do you remember when Fancy was talking just like I am now? And she's like, you came in yelling at me. No, no, she didn't. It's productive. It went mute. Did it go mute? Can you hear me? Last night, yes. Not for me. I think making, you make, you think making lives about Gypsy is a good start to avoiding that. Huh? I don't even know what that says. You can hear me. Okay. Rod is at my house and the D is fire. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. But that's funny. Okay. Rod is pretending to not know. That's correct. I'm a goofball. All I want really is to just stop being associated with them i'm not going to fight their battles i don't want to fight with people about them i don't want to yeah today you i don't, don't condone or support the way that they behave i don't believe the way that they treat people online is appropriate or um acceptable <laughs> tv blanchard And she thinks that's funny. So someone's in there under D.D. Blanchard and she thinks it's funny. No, that person should be blocked. That's disgusting. The person, D.D. is not here anymore. Like, let her rest in peace. And you're sitting here like a fucker laughing at it. Ken, I don't know where he's actually originally from. He's lived all over the place. He was recently in Dallas. He's lived in Florida. He's lived in Seattle. He's lived in Austin, Texas. The fact you know that is creepy. See, you stalk people. Christy and Dee Dee, Christy and Gypsy have fought about this. Um, they have. Christy and Dee Dee, Christy and Gypsy fight a lot. A lot. And... Okay, I think there's one more. Yeah, one more, guys. Tara... Do you know them, Tara? You don't. Oh, you know them? Oh, run, Tara, run. How do you know them? Please run. Someone saw all these people are like, who are you? <laughs> How do you know them, Tara? This is creepy. Put Tara in the box. Okay. It's not allowing me uh good 
You don't need to be messing with other people. I can't put her in the box. Good. She would have to request. <laughs> There's no way to add her. This is disgusting. Like it. Oh, <laughs> like, look at that from DD Blander says, I can confirm. Krusty. Krusty is like me. I'm much more beautiful. This is sick. And she's There's laughing no at her. it. That's ridiculous. I would have blocked her. Oh, yeah. Tara's really good to get in the box with you guys all yelling at her. I've Back her. account. She has two followers. I know. I can't add her. I don't know. That account seems fake. Christy's fishy two nose. followers. Have you guys noticed the burst blood vessels under her nose because of her sniffing? It's disgusting. That's fishy two followers, yeah. She probably left the live. Yeah. Tara ran. She does. She did. Tara is so fake. Wow. We got a runner. I know. She pulled her rod. She did. There's it says Tara. you need live access. You don't have access to live. Have you not unlocked that part? Oh, girl, Tara, don't do it. Yeah. I can't add her as... I can't add her. She's a longtime family friend. Well, you can send me an email at tips at without a crystal ball. If you there it is again, admitting that you still have that account. That means it's you sending the fucking threats. I'm pissed. You don't want to do this publicly. Um, oh, you need 1K live to go live. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, she can talk, but she just can't use video. I wonder if it's because it's like a new account. Um, but you can email me at tips at without a crystal ball, or you can send me a DM here. Here it is again. If you want. Like, how in the fuck are you going to sit there and explain that now? How? Oh, but it was hacked. I don't have that account no more. It's not active. Bullshit. I fucking knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Thanks for saying it three times for me. You are a liar. You are disgusting. You ruin people's lives. And you know what? I am done with it. Fucking done with it. You need to be reported to the police. You're disgusting. You should be in a fucking prison. Yes, she did intervene. She did want to control Ryan. That was my impression as well. Ken was on board, and this was planned with Christy. I mean, yeah, keep touching your staff infected face. I mean, Yeah, she can be anonymous. She can email me or she can send me a DM.
Would I want to interview Ryan? I don't think it would be appropriate for me to talk to Ryan at this point because... You bashed him? He is um, going through a divorce and... Frankly, I don't think it's in the best interest of either one of them to talk about things. No, it was just okay for Gypsy and Christy, right? When you were not cut off. Is Ken live? I don't know. Ken, last time I knew... Look at her scrolling. She has to know everything. <laughs> Nellie was arrested in Missouri, no less. Now she's up to 23. If she gets up to 200, she can get in the box. Oh, okay. Yeah, he had ecstasy and he didn't have insurance or something like that. Yeah, having no insurance and ecstasy. Ryan is absolutely heartbroken. Yes, I've heard that too. Yeah, you bashed him several times. For months. You tried to destroy him. You tried to ruin his life as well, remember? Okay, I need to actually eat lunch. It's three o'clock and I haven't eaten lunch yet. And I'm going to go live on my YouTube channel. And we're going to talk about this whole thing with Ken and Rod. Um, yes, I heard. I actually went on to Ivory's live after he left. So, yes, I love Ivory. She's sweet. Like Ryan Ivory. My channel on YouTube is without a crystal ball. Same as this. So, I'll be back. Bye, guys. Anyways, I, <laughs> I'm i pissed. So, clearly, she has that account, or she still has, without a crystal, tips at withoutacrystalball.com. She lied. <laughs> what else is new? She always lies, but there she said it three fucking times that she's got that account after she stated which I have in my other videos, my previous videos I've done, that that account was hacked and she no longer uses it. And it was like turned off and it couldn't be used. Meanwhile, I proved that it was still active and she still lied about it. And now, here we have it. This is ridiculous. Like, she needs to be stopped. Absolutely. I'm so sick and tired of her getting away with shit. Like, someone is going to get hurt. And then what? Then can I call the police again? Then can I get a report on her? Then can I get my investigation opened? Like, what the fuck does she have to else does she have to keep doing to me? This is not okay. Anyways, I'm gonna go. Just let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Bye.